Number four, update on the goals of the town administrator. The fire chief is going to do his next meeting because he's been sick for a few days and hasn't got all his stuff together. So, Mr. Nixon? Okay, so I, I didn't make a formal presentation for tonight. I have prepared a written report on the 48 goals and objectives that, that the select board uh, outlined back in July. Uh, it's a daunting task being a town administrator, let me just say that, and uh, uh, daunting to, uh, to try to tackle all of these goals and objectives. I'll just touch on a number of the, the, the major points. So, for the most part, we've been able to advance uh, towards these objectives. Some of them have been achieved, some of them we would like to uh, renegotiate, and some of them depend upon partners that uh, we need to work with. For example, the latter would be the uh, regionalization of the dispatching service. We need the town of Amherst to perform certain functions, which uh, they, to date they haven't. But uh, in terms of the, um, of the overall uh, mid-year point of where we are with these uh, 48 goals, I'm feeling pretty good about them. Uh, and uh, would like to continue working with uh, the board in order to achieve a uh, successful conclusion on the most important ones. The first one would be the, um, the setting up of the, the strategic five-year plan for the town, which starts with the process of the five-year budget, which we've been working on for quite some time, but then goes on to the select board defining for the town. What, kinds of, what kind of a town does, does we want to see in a five-year period? The select board has taken a number of uh, interesting steps in order to make that happen. Certainly municipal buildings and what are we going to do with that is a significant uh, step forward. Uh, looking at uh, the level of appropriate funding between the major governmental functions, uh, so public safety, public works, education, general government, and so forth. I know that your subcommittee has worked hard on understanding what those uh, what those uh, functions represent for the town and what's an appropriate level of funding for them. Uh, so uh, any way that I can work with the board in order to come up with the unified vision of where we're going to be in five years, uh, I would like to focus more on that. One of the things that we, uh, that we did was we added a select board meeting in the middle of the month in order to spend more time and focus discussion towards uh, the, um, the, 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 the major topics that are in front of you. And I think we've drifted a little bit away with, from that with the, the various bits of uh, business that, have, uh, that inevitably pop up. And so the, that third or that second um, uh, meeting in the middle of the month, has that agenda has become more cluttered with town business that just arises. I'd like to return towards a uh, focused uh, uh, discussion on major topics. Certainly in budget season, that's a little harder to do, but once we get on the other side of the budget process, that would be uh, uh, my, my suggestion. The um, other points are compliance with the, uh, with the um, recommendations from the Department of Revenue uh, to uh, make our finances run and operations run a little bit more tightly, as well as the management letter uh, from the auditors. Uh, I've been working with the uh, accountant, with the treasurer, with the assessor and the collector in order to achieve the goals that were outlined by the Department of Revenue and the uh, auditor. And I'm very pleased to say that, uh, that the acting treasurer has taken a very serious look at these goals and objectives and has implemented many of the recommendations or is in the process of implementing the recommendations uh, outlined. <coughs> the treasurer, uh, the, the collector has um, looked at some of the recommendations, particularly having to do with printing, uh, using our own uh, paper to print out bills, as well as daily turnovers of, of cash and uh, she has a different take on the recommendations, so we're continuing to have a discussion on that point. 
the uh, accountant has made changes to the VADAR reporting system, so information is flowing much more uh, uh, smoothly and uh, with more uh, uh, frequency so that people have the kinds of information that they've been asking for. And the assessors have been working on their uh, GIS system in order to see if we can not integrate uh, more GIS functions with different uh, departments as well as uh, with our IT plan uh, to try to come up with an uh, integrated and uh, comprehensive permitting so, uh, system so that we can organize our permits more efficiently and uh, um, more comprehensively. So there are 48 uh, points here. I could go on for quite some time. I recommend that you read the, the report. Perhaps next week when the fire chief is here, you'll have specific questions uh, and we can dig into them at that point uh, or if you have any questions at this point. Questions? No, it's this time. I just got it tonight. Yeah. I, I did. Go ahead. Um, I, I just think sometimes we're, we're looking at things that not, may not be translating to the audience. So there, there are actually five goals, not 48. But to your point, I think the, so the, the goals I had here were um, develop a detailed framework for the strategic planning process. Then the second one, and I think this is where all the, the sub-bullets are coming out, um, develop and carry out a detailed action plan that implements all recommendations from the DOR report and audit management letter under the, under the purview of the town administrator. So I think that's a lot of what's in here, right? You went through the DOR report. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess just one of the questions I have is I know in some of these bullets, um, improve cash reconciliations and eliminate the manual cash book. Um, and so what you put here is working with the acting treasurer and Melanson and Heath, we've resolved the matter. Um, I'm not sure that some of them actually are resolved. I mean, I know that we're, we're still behind on some things. So, I mean, maybe, maybe I could ask you some direct questions about the responses here. Just the language, because some of them say, um, you know, we, we've adopted a policy, but my question would be, are we actually following, but if we've adopted the policy, are we actually doing it that way? So maybe some more clarification in the responses here would be good. Um, the third one, develop and implement a comprehensive financial reporting packet. Um, monthly budget to actuals, detailed revenue reports, accompanying quarterly State of the Union reports that provide commentary regarding potential or actual variances from budget, and then a capital plan update. I don't think that we've really, we've done elements of that, right? Like you said, Gail's okay. putting some. So it would be helpful if, uh, if, if we think that on our side we're performing these tasks uh, and if you're feeling like you're not getting the information, please communicate with us so that we know what, what we're missing or what we're overdoing. Right, right. Yeah. Um, and then conducting a review of the personnel policies. I think we just talked about that, right? That's the, That's the grant the, funded, the grant funded yeah. project. And then the last one is the wage study. Yes. So, I mean, in fairness to David, I think I, I'm sitting here thinking some of these things really aren't being done. And if looking at what David's reporting, he feels that they are being done, I do think we need to have a clarity um, for us and for, for David. It's not. So I don't know how you want to go about it. The easiest way probably is to Would take the two and merge them together and have them come back and have you address, put together what you gave us tonight and put it together in the classifications of the five, of the five we have as the goals probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just a matter because I think, I think some of these you tagged on at the end. The comprehensive financial reporting packet, personnel policies, and the wage study. So the wage study, you're saying that the request for funding isn't granted, an application to secure funding was denied, Future efforts will include a proposal from UMass to conduct the project as a student exercise. Is that something we talked about for yeah, the resources? Like yeah, yeah. So, so I I asked for the money. If we weren't able to provide it, I uh, applied for a grant to get to see if I could and get the uh, the wage classification study done that way. The granting agency said oh, we don't fund that kind of stuff. 
so I think the, the next step is to try to see if we can't do this under the partnership agreement with the University of Massachusetts, see if it can be done that way. Okay. So could we as a board commit to, and I, I know we just got this tonight, um, or today, but could we commit to going through what David is, is um, providing for a, an update? And if there are any questions, make sure that we get them to him in advance of next week so he has the opportunity to provide more clarity. Yeah. Okay. So I, mean, I think that's fair. I mean, I've, again, I've just got questions about, I mean, and I'm not <clears throat> it all tonight. So you know, yeah. and prioritize that a little bit too because that wage study, you're, you're getting into negotiations right now and you really need that thing. Yeah, that's something that's held up with funding. Yeah. We don't have funding. We're yeah, but I mean, if we can get some interns in here to. Yeah, but they're not going to do that in a day. Well, I, I understand that. Well, I think it's going to take a, a while. Plan. There needs to be a plan. There needs yeah. to be a plan at this yeah. point. Give them two days. No, two days? Yeah. The two Eisenberg days. students, right? The Eisenberg students. Well, we've been talking about it for six months now, and we haven't moved on it. So. Well, we haven't gotten the money for it. Okay, so we need money if we can go to UMass and have it done. Well, no money in the budget. So, so if we get all our comments, our questions to yep. David by Friday, and that gives them Monday and Tuesday yep. to get ready for Wednesday. Okay. Gives and, us two days and right. gives. And I'm coming in um, at the end of the month to work with uh, David and Joan on the uh, personnel policies. Okay. So. And I'm going to assume we're going to do the same thing with the chief. Fire Chief next week, he'll give us a submission and we'll have to take time to review that and we'll get back to him with any questions. Yeah, unless he happens to get it to us earlier. Right. But yeah, okay. that's only fair. Yeah. Okay. All right.